Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Matt Corral will be staying as of right now. It looks like, you know, Frank Reich and the coaches really seem to like him. And Matt Corral seems to really like being here. I mean, regardless of what, I mean, he said previously, if you guys do not know, Matt Corral posted on his Instagram story a picture of just a quote. And it was just, you know, it seemed like he was angry. I mean, it talked about being angry and letting that be like a chip on your shoulder. And it seemed like Matt Corral wanted to be out and he was angry that, you know, he didn't get a chance to be the starter for this team. And I, I mean, that's very, very reasonable. I mean, he was the future looked like, you know, because Sam Darnold obviously didn't work out. Baker Mayfield also didn't work out. And before the Panthers drafted Bryce Young and their entire franchise rebuild with all these coaches and players, it seemed that Matt Corral was going to get a starting job and insert Bryce Young. And here we are. Now, if you guys didn't watch my previous video, I'm basically just updating you on this. I mean, this is basically part two of that video of what's going on with Matt Corral. What are the Panthers going to do with Matt Corral? And from the looks of it, he is, I mean, he's staying for the long term. I mean, he's going to be around for a while, it looks like. He it looks like he's going to be the backup quarterback to Bryce Young for many years to come or, you know, whatever. And Matt Corral even stated that he doesn't even want to get traded, which is massive news after him, you know, all that speculation over his Instagram story. And recently, yes, it was yesterday or Sunday where NFL, you know, committee got together and they agreed on a three quarterback roster, like your, the ability to have three quarterbacks on the roster and not uh, burn a roster spot with that third quarterback. And this is because of, you know, the infamous 49ers Eagles playoff game where the 49ers were down literally every quarterback, everyone was hurt and Christian McCaffrey had to come in and play and Brock Purdy had to come in and just never throw the ball. And so I really like this move, and it just looks like this is just another confirmation that the Panthers will be rolling into this season with three quarterbacks, and there you go. Frank Reich was also, you know, he was just giving up, you know, he was saying a lot of things about how Matt Corral looks really good, he looks sharp, he's going to get a lot of preseason time, which is fantastic to hear because he only really played one game of the preseason, and... That game, he almost, I mean, he didn't play really that well, and it was really at the end of the game. And then the Patriots game, he got, you know, he hurt his ankle real bad. So, basically, we'll get to see him a lot in the preseason, looks like, and potentially during the season. I mean, Bryce Young, if he gets hurt, someone's going to step in, and it could be Andy Dalton. And Frank Reich and the Panthers might want to see what Matt Corral has to offer. And if he looks good in the preseason, I definitely see him being the quarterback number two on this roster and Andy Dalton really just being that veteran presence they bo both of those guys really need. Do I like this move? Absolutely. I love that they're going to keep Matt Corral for the long term. I like how he's still reuniting with Jonathan Mingo. He's old. Uh, it I mean, he was a rookie when Matt Corral was there, but I'm glad to see them reunite, you know, Jonathan Mingo coming in and knowing a guy and... I'm glad to see him stay and, you know, keep that chip on his shoulder. I mean, he's really working towards a potential starting spot. I mean, if he wants to go and play somewhere else, I liked them keeping him. I think he's a great quarterback too, 100%. Like I said, if Bryce Young does eventually go down and they might want to see Matt Corral, what he has to offer. Now, that was really just, you know, an update on the whole Matt Corral situation because that was just a... The, the part two, like I said to my previous video about what what the heck they're going to do with Matt Corral. Let me know what you guys think, honestly. I mean, about this whole situation with Matt Corral. Do you guys think the Panthers made the right decision in keeping him? Do you think they should have traded him? Do you think Matt Corral is going to potentially start somewhere or start for the Panthers sometime this season? Let me know down in the comment section below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy these types of videos and these types of NFL updates and Panthers news, check out my channel, like the video, and if you guys really like these videos, Maybe hit the subscribe button. I mean, you know, you don't got to, but you know, it would be great to help my channel and get this videos out there to more people that really enjoy these types of videos as well, as much as you guys do. Now, I want to thank you guys once again for watching and take care. See you guys later. Peace.